typing or we were gesturing if Jerry would ask something yes or no it was an easy way for them to communicate when Esther wasn't with her word processor and one day they got this inspiration to ask their friends to go hide somewhere in the city of Phoenix and they would use Abraham to come and find them <laughs> now Phoenix is a really big city right, it's yeah. 50 miles in all directions and there were no limitations go anywhere that you want Esther said and we will come and find you and the only rule was we won't quit until we found you no matter how long it takes <laughs> and we'll see you in a little while so off they went so Esther is receiving us she can't tell if it's don't go that way or go that way because it's the same sensation mm. don't go that way or go that way and so she's gesturing and Jerry's driving and off they go and then go that way and off they go and then here so they stopped and their friends were nowhere around so go that way go that way they filled the tank up three times that night <laughs> when they found their friends and they did they said first we went there and they said oh we were there our inner being told us to go over there <laughs> and they said and then we went there and they said oh we were there too then our inner being told us to go over there and Esther said I'm never playing this stupid game with <laughs> again Abraham you didn't tell us that you're gonna keep them moving so what we're getting at is this is something that's always in motion and your inner being is always giving you the impulse that is most beneficial from where you are to where you're wanting to go your inner being is always giving you what it knows to be the most likelihood for you to get an impulse but it's not going to mess with me and have the, the other one then Never. tell the other one to go somewhere. No, it's not like that. It's not like that. Well, they did with you. The whole point of that I was, does Abraham know things that we don't know? Sure. That was the whole point of that. Sure. And they came away from that knowing unequivocally. And the reason we told you that story is because it's a subtle difference between don't do that and do that. And I'm finding it hard to decipher to decipher which that is yes. and so these are the breadcrumbs that we want to leave for you the things that we think would make from where you are a little easier for you this is not a big deal and there's nothing risky involved here and you can be lighter and more playful about it and there are no requirements for you to accomplish and there's no way of you getting it wrong and take score just a little less and care more about the way you feel and let the feelings that you're reaching for be more light-hearted less intense more ease rather than effort it's gonna work out all right rather than I got to get this figured out just that subtle difference in your approach to it will make a big difference in the way you feel you're used to making things happen <laughs> through action yes. and effort and work and focus yes. and you accomplish a lot in that way but now you are engaged with the energy that creates worlds and there is a power and an influence and a leverage in that kind of energy that is intoxicatingly fabulous but lighter than you think it is this is the piece that we want you to hear if you're moving some heavy object from one place to another there are some things that are involved in that like first of all you want to be sure that you want to move it over there because it's heavy and then you want to make sure that you have the wherewithal to do it and so there's a lot of preparation in getting ready to do the heavy lifting you know what we're getting at? oh yeah in action there's a lot of heavy lifting in vibration there's none there's no heavy lifting in vibration so effort translates into action in a way that confuses you yes. about how it translates into vibration it's fine-tuning in vibration it's light touch it's light touch with vibration yeah yeah perfect it is it is really good. thank you very much yeah. we've enjoyed this interaction more than any that has come before because this one has been right out on the leading edge where all of us are these are powerful nows that you are living there has never been a time on this leading edge and this is the leading edge where 
the variety that is surrounding you has caused so much movement in your vibrational reality the vortex the vibrational reality that precedes your manifested world is faster moving than it has ever been before which means the potential for your satisfying the things that you care about is not only greater but faster in fruition which means you are in a vehicle and you're moving more rapidly down the highway than you ever have before and so your attention to where you are on the highway will bring you satisfaction we don't want you to slow down because going fast is way more fun but we don't want you to go faster than your ability to control yourself in your environment you see so what's happening to you is your environment is calling you into faster and faster motion which means faster and faster thought process which means faster and faster manifestation which means the potential for satisfaction is greater than it's ever been before but the potential for some negative emotion is greater than it's ever been before it's like a giant magnifying glass has been laid down on everything so that whatever it is that's dominant in your vibration is having more emphasis in your experience that's why suffering is greater and thriving is greater that's why poverty is more and abundance is more that's why sickness is more and wellness is more in other words whatever it is that you've got the vibrational habit of projecting is manifesting into your experience more rapidly well what an advantage that is to those like you who now understand and you do what this receptive mode will yield in terms of manifestation and what this receptive mode will yield in terms of manifestation isn't it nice to know that when something's turning out and it doesn't feel good to you while it's turning out that you can recognize what you were doing when it was still in vibrational form that allowed that momentum to become more and more and doesn't it make you more aware of where you are moment by moment doesn't it make you want to be more aware as you are driving this analogous car down your vibrational road doesn't it make you want to not let things get so far in a direction that you don't want them to be before you decide that you're going to do something about it the two tools that are most at your fingertips for maintaining your receptive mode the first is meditation and we know some of you are adverse to it only in the sense that you want more control than it seems to give you and there's a little giving up of control on your way to ultimate control quieting your mind quiets resistance it quiets thoughts it quiets resistance and it puts you in sync with who you really are but it also serves another very important purpose it makes you more sensitive to where you are and so your negative emotion sticks out like a bigger sore thumb you find yourself being a little more dramatic than you are used to being or you find yourself wanting to rectify things as you are moving along through your action but we like that newfound sensitivity that you're finding through alignment because it's only through your awareness that something feels a little off that you will have the wherewithal to guide it into something that feels a little better and it's so easy for you to do that given what you now know so meditation is one of the powerful tools that will lead you if you want into more often receptive mode so that the fullness of who you are is having the conversation or enjoying the moment and the other is active appreciation active appreciation is really step two of the alignment process in other words once you know you're in alignment turn up the gas once you know you're in alignment milk it for all it's worth when you know for sure that you're feeling good stay focused on the good that you're feeling and exaggerate it to every degree that you can with as many people who will play with you because this is the way that you practice the vibration when it's easy to practice it and this is the way that you get out ahead this is the way you practice the belief of worthiness this is the way that you practice the belief of invincibility this is the way you become fearless this is the way you come into your true knowing of who you are it's by actively increasing the momentum of this receptive mode while you are actively decreasing the momentum of this receptive mode so how does that play out 
someone points out something to you that makes you feel uncomfortable as you hear it what do you do what do you do continue the conversation add your part to it let the momentum increase until the two of you are having a real strong <sighs> miserable moment together or when it first starts you say ah oh, gotta go <laughs> do you satisfy their need for you to join them or do you satisfy your desire to join the vibration of your inner being because it is really a rare one of you and we can say this to you from the balance of that which we feel from you in this room it's a rare one of you who needs to be dragged into momentous negative emotion you know more than that you have more control of the vibration of your being than you sometimes practice and the reason that you often do not practice it as well as you can and as well as you want to is because you don't want to hurt anybody's feelings and there's something about you that thinks that because someone is talking to you that you have a responsibility to listen <laughs> and then a further responsibility to agree with them and then a further responsibility to find things in your own life that point out that you do actually have some pretty substantial agreement with the complaint they're making right now and then off you go practicing a vibration that does not allow you to be who you are or where you want to be practicing a momentum that just leads to more of this and often you don't realize you've even done it until it plays out into something that you don't want then after the fact you go oh I know how I got here and we say if you're aware of it while it's happening it's easy for you to make an adjustment and that really is the fun of life it's adjusting into your power that is the fun of life it's not adjusting into your power so that you can get things that being an adjustment with power brings you it's not for the end result that you're looking for it's for the sensation of being in your power the sensation of clarity really feels better than the sensation of confusion and clarity leads you to so much good stuff and confusion leads you to so much stuff that you do not want the sensation of appreciation is such a wonderful way to spend a moment in time and a sensation of criticism not so much you see and so as you just decide that you are a good feeling person who wants to feel better as you decide that you want to be tuned in tapped in turned on not because of the results that it will bring but because of the way it feels in the moment because this is who you are so we have some questions for you very short very brief list but we want you to answer them in your own mind or out loud if you want to from what you know of you are you more of a lover or a hater you know that don't you now that doesn't mean that you can't get in a hateful conversation of course you can but when you do it really sucks doesn't it you can feel that it isn't who you are are you an appreciator or a condemner it's for sure you are you can tell by the way you feel would you rather praise or criticize you really really would now that doesn't mean you don't criticize from time to time but you never like it when you do it do you do you ever like it when you do it and if it goes on and on and on doesn't it eventually turn to something that you really do not want what do you think the true momentum of your life is one of well-being or one of not well-being well it's obvious are things working out for you or not they're working out for you so we're not really asking you to develop any patience about this because when you're tuned in tapped in turned on you don't have to be patient because there are instant wonderful manifestations happening all over the place we just want to remind you that you've got this you understand it your guidance system is alive and active within you there isn't anything that we said today that you didn't understand on many many deep levels life is supposed to be fun for you and this has been no matter how many times we've been together before a significant vibrational turning point for you watch for the evidence of that there is great love here for you and for now we are complete